Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new podium vehicle, the Rolls Royce Wraith. I mean, uh, the Windsor Drop. Uh, yeah, this uh, vehicle is pretty much based on the Rolls Royce Wraith and we're gonna be talking about it. This is not its first time on the podium, so I've kinda probably driven it before, don't remember anything about it. In any case, in this video I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. And let's start with the 360 here on the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First and foremost, this vehicle cost 900,000 GT online, it was released in 2016, it's, as I said before, modeled after the Rolls Royce Wraith, which is a four-door vehicle, even though it doesn't have a convertible version in real life, but, uh, well, I do like them convertibles. In terms of vehicle preferences, whoops, uh, you can open all four of its doors and the put in the trunk, and, uh, yep, this is a big old British, I don't know, V. 12 or whatever they're at and uh, yeah this is unmistakably a Rolls Royce especially uh, looking at the spirit of well it's probably not the spirit of ecstasy but it's the spirit of something over here is the spirit of uh, well honestly it kind of looks like a Bentley interesting in any case that's the exterior of the vehicle done now let's jump in and look at how the inside looks and also how does the roof situation work and something that should be mentioned is that this vehicle as I said before really old but also it has an incredibly ugly interior, so if you're planning on playing in first person, yeah, better plan again. In terms of the way the vehicle sounds... Really not impressive. And uh, believe it or not, this vehicle is part of the coupes category in GT Online, even though it's a four-door vehicle. Granted, it doesn't have any B-pillars, but... Uh, interesting. In terms of uh, the wheel drive situation, it's a rear wheel drive, just like it's real world inspiration. And about that real world inspiration, it doesn't have this, but it's a pretty cool feature, and you guys know how much I love them convertibles. And with the roof down, let's go to Los Santos Customs and customize this bad boy. And as always, on our way there, I will be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Windsor Drop. Now, the first thing that I want to mention is that this feels like a boat. Uh, this vehicle has been on the podium, as I said before, two times on the podium, I believe. And, uh, yeah, don't remember anything about it, literally. I make a review video every week for different vehicles, so uh, everything blends together, and I have no idea what I said about this vehicle, or even what I thought about it. Or even that I've driven it. This was a surprise to me, I had to look it up. But in any case, it feels like a big old bolt with wheels. So, that's probably the best way to describe it. The brakes are surprisingly good for what it is, the acceleration also, but the most surprising factor is its top speed and drivability. It has this incredible feature that if you just point it in a straight line, it goes, even though you just took a sharp corner. I don't know what that's called, but it's incredible to see in such a giant vehicle. It's basically very difficult to see. It basically corrects itself. Now, the customization, on the other hand, is probably gonna suck, but, uh, well, let's wait and see. And here we are, in Los Santos Customs, and as hilarious as that is, yes, this is part of the coupes category in GT Online. You can sell it for a big fat zero, but uh, we don't want to be doing that, so let's repair it and upgrade all the performance options up front so we don't forget anything, and then we're gonna be going over the actual visual customization well, which looks very scarce at this point, so... Hooray! Turbo! But, uh, let's face it, after last week's slam truck, everything's gonna be a winner. Even if they gave us the, I don't know, the BF Weevil. So, let's see now, the first customization we're gonna do is, uh... Or maybe I spoke too soon. License plate! Fantastic. Uh, I don't know, let's go with the black one, I guess? We can respray the vehicle, which is a great feature to have for a you know game that's heavily based on being able to modify your vehicles and cars and whatever's uh, let's see suspension we can slam the Rolls Royce to the ground which is something that I'm not gonna be doing and uh, we can also change the w w wheels oh so that's it the customization is done I guess they're <laughs> they're really rivaling the slam truck this week interesting ah uh, okay I guess we're gonna be going with uh, some other wheels because we do want to make the vehicle at least somewhat custom. Yeah, those are just so ugly and so un rolls Royzy. If that's a word. Also, those are kind of ugly as well. I don't like them. And I'm assuming those are on the stock wheels. Because it just looks wrong. They don't fit the car at all. 
Uh, but let's put some muscle car wheels on it. Ah, I'm kidding. SUV wheels. Nope. Uh, hmm. What is this? It's a luxury car, but there is no luxury option here. So probably sports wheels is going to be what fits it the most. Weirdness. This is just weirdness. Probably these wheels. $18,000. Not that bad. And uh, with that, we're going to be also able to customize the tires a little bit. Not doing that. The wheel color as well, we're going to be able to do. Uh, let's see, the wheels. Yeah, we're going to be doing something with that at the end of our set, Los Santos Customs. Oh, that's cute. You can customize the, the little thingies over there, the little windows. That's thoughtful. What about the other customization, Rockstar? In any case, uh, it's time to respray the vehicle. I guess that's the customization done. Uh, and uh, this week, I once again asked you, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And this week, most of you suggested purple. So, uh, I guess for not making a purple Lamborghini, we're making a purple Rolls Royce Wraith. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll, and hopefully you like the outcome that you'll see in just a bit. As soon as I find purple, or at least purple that I like. Well, here is purple. Oh. oh, well, this looks good. Interesting. Well, this is technically purple, but tell you what, is Chameleon purple as well? Okay, this looks sick. Or maybe this? Nah, this this doesn't look as good though. This looks incredible, and uh, wow, yeah, it's a pity that those colors are just so. Darn expensive. Also this one. Yep, the colors are awesome. It's basically a debate in my head between this one and this one. But I think we have a winner. Yep, this one wins. <laughs> just a, such a cool, cool color. Uh, as for the secondary color, something matte is probably gonna fit the vehicle well. Now what? Or another Chameleon. Interesting. I guess we could go with <laughs> make it incredibly expensive or a different shade of purple oh my god it's so many options rockstar is spoiling me with uh, all the customization of this vehicle i don't know what i was uh complaining about the baby blue it would have been cool if we can make it gold but sadly gold is uh kind of locked or at least the cool gold is or i guess it's not interesting we don't have the chrome option that looks sick so yeah i guess we're not doing that we're going with something matte eh. i don't know let's just choose something let's bite the bullet with uh eh, that's too white let's go with desert tan and the roof color is gonna be um uh but uh, uh, uh huh. Mm, uh, tell you what, uh, mini, 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 mo. Perfect. Ooh, <laughs> I think I chose yellow. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna be putting the crew emblem on the vehicle. As I said before, we are also gonna be changing the wheel color. So let's see if the curtain matches the drapes or something to that extent. Uh, the tires we're not gonna be doing, but the last thing I want to show is how much we can sell it for. Wow, so the colors make no difference to the sale price, even though we spent... Wow, that's a bummer. And here we are, in the dusk, and uh, I gotta say, this vehicle was basically made for that. Now, the moment of truth, I do want to see how the yellow roof is gonna look like on this vehicle. Top, I changed my mind, I don't want to see that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna look so stupid. In case you were wondering, by the way, it's still a rear wheel drive vehicle. And also in case you were wondering, the headlights suck, cause it was released in 2016. Yeah, it's, uh, what, eight years old as of the making of this video? So craziness, time just flies. Now, but in all seriousness, let's jump back and uh, look at how the roof looks. Yep, this is yellow, all right? Although it doesn't look that bad. I don't know, is it just me or? I mean, it it, uh, it has character. Like, you, you can't mistake it for anybody else or anybody else's car. Like, it, it has that going for it. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it, it is kind of ugly. I'm, I'm sorry. 
Uh, so let's uh, let's fix it very quickly and remove the roof once again in very sw swift motion. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so with, that, with the roof down, the vehicle looks kind of good, even though it does look like every other, literally every other one on the street because you don't have any customization. But aside from that, it is a fairly fun vehicle to drive. I just can't get over how um manageable it is when you're just trying to corner the vehicle starts to drift and it just straightens out i don't know weirdness weirdness it's so stable it's probably something to do with its weight but yeah it really does uh does feel like a yacht yeah that guy uh ran a red light uh said the guy in the uh white suv so yeah is this vehicle good or not i will leave you to decide that for me this is definitely a keeper even though the customization sucks the big one and uh yeah i guess with that uh, we are gonna be ending the video i'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this one uh as it was released really really well it was released a while back and uh yeah let me know what you guys think of the winter drop in the comments thanks so much for watching like subscribe and i will catch you all in the next one and now for those of you who are so patient off-roading in a rolls royce which went surprisingly well hmm, interesting i guess this could be an off-roader or maybe not and literally 20 seconds after i stopped recording this happened yeah, yeah, uh, thank you, game. I get the point.